Now remember, there's 20 questions and there's 20 groups. What each one of you, except for the partners. So there should not be more than one person on a QR code, okay? Because we don't want to get too With problems. the QR codes, what we like to do is, uh, instead of having pen and paper, I like to give them a little bit more movement around the room, and they can download the QR. They they use the app to click on it, and the QR code comes out and comes up with either a question or a photo, and then they answer it using any type of media. They use Edu Creations, or um, they use Pic Collage, or even their notes, and then they'll email it back to me. And it's a different way to receive their either a quiz. We did a quiz last week, or an assignment. That's a little bit more engaging instead of just written on pencil and paper. It's really neat to them to use the technology. They, that's, that's their medium, that's what they know. And so I need to meet them where they are instead of forcing them to do things the old fashioned way. And when, as soon as they click that QR code and something comes out, they just get super excited. What is the nearest to build the sand in the What trees and has towering peaks, rocky canyons, and flowery cacti? I've learned how to do the research and how to do different ways to make their learning fun and, and they're having fun at the same time they're learning something. So I've learned a lot through this. What is the second largest canyon in the U.S. after the Grand Canyon? I will um, set up an assignment and uh, do it on a PDF and I email it to them and then they download it to their iPad. And this way they are able to access their, their homework. They don't have to carry books around. They don't have to carry papers around and worry about getting them lost because they're not going to lose their iPads. So, and then they complete the assignment mm -hmm. and they'll email it back to me. And it works out That's really, great, really cool. great that way. Yeah, I think that they find themselves more engaged and more willing to learn when they can do it on the iPad. So what we're going to do is just do a couple of problems off of our homework so that when tonight, when you're working on it, you'll have something that you can reference. We have edu creations and we can create a lesson on there. And what will happen is I upload it to our school website, to my class website. And then as they're doing their homework, if they get stuck, it's their work that they did and they can go back and review it and learn again maybe what the steps are. It's like a, a at-home tutoring. It works out really well. The parents in my class are very happy because we do use a lot of technology in here with our iPads and they've really seen an increase in schoolwork.